after you've done this, right click the classes folder, add new item. What you're going to want to do is add an Unreal script file and name this my game info. So now we've gotten this. Now what you're going to want to do is change a few things. Delete this file. Okay, my game info extends UT deathmatch. Function start match super ut game dot start match. Then you're going to name our code. Now you're going to make another function called our code. Okay. I'll explain all of this in later tutorials. For now, I want you at start match two slashes and say don't edit this function. This function is going to take care of running our code, which will be placed in the our code function at the start of every match. So this will let us see our basic um, code. Save this. Now what you're going to want to do is close out the Visual Studio and reopen it. Open the My Game. Now th what this will do is it will let Enfringe start going through all the reference source and setting up the IntelliSense. Since it's a new project, it started parsing um, the Unreal script. As you can see, parsing Q has 1,200 items remaining. So let's just wait for this to finish. Okay, now that it's done, right click our classes, add existing item. Now we want to go to our UDK directory, UT game engine config. UT engine.ini. Click this little black arrow on the side of add and click add as link. So this will keep it from adding, from copying utengine.ini from its location. So now that we're free to edit it, we need to find mod edit packages. Just search for that. Now what we need to do is take this off and put my game here. This will add all our files and our scripts to be compiled. Now, after we've done that, let's see if we can compile our script. So let's click, let's close out of this, and click Build Solution. So you'll get this little warning about not being able to find the .NET SDK, so don't worry about this. Now, the first time, the build takes a while. But the next time and the following times, it will be really quick. OK, so our build succeeded. And as you can see, my development source, my game has been has been put in my game dot you. So let's check to see if it was copied over to our scripts directory. Go to UDK. And there it is. My game dot you was copied over to the correct script directory. So now if we want to test it. Let's run this, start debugging, and it will start up our game. Now, as you can notice, it didn't come up with the log uh, console, so which isn't very useful for our scripting tutorial. So let's close out of this. Now, you'll notice that when we exit the game, Visual Studio isn't very good at stopping the debugging process, so just click the stop. Okay, now go back to right click my game. Right click my game, go to properties. K 
Okay. Then what you're going to want to do is check open long window, log window at position. This will start up our console. So now let's execute again. Now as you can see, we got our console window open now. So now we can see the output from our scripts. Script lock, start match. So now as you can see, this is where we'll be seeing all our script tutorial output. We will not be modifying the actual game until later. So close this. Okay, now I'm going to teach you how to use one function right now, which will be our bread and butter. Now what you're going to want to do is that button with the tilde, click it and you should get this little I don't know what the name is for it. Type log and let's put testing. Okay. Now when we complete when we click compile, what you should see on the console is the word testing. So let let's let this start up. Okay. So now as you can see in our console there it is, the word testing. And this is where we'll see all our output from our scripts in this tutorial. Now let's close this. And that's it. This concludes our getting our build environment set up tutorial. I'm out.